Good afternoon, I am Shade Uwe. This is News Brief. President Bola Tinubu has announced fresh moves to engage nations in the Arab world in an effort to attract businesses and additional foreign direct investment as he prepares to attend two major summits. This is in line with his push for new inflows of foreign exchange into the Nigerian economy through investments in growth, enabling and labor-intensive sectors of the economy. Briefing State House correspondents ahead of the President's departure to Riyadh, special advisor to the President on media and publicity, Ajiri Ingelale disclosed that President Tinubu will first attend the Saudi-Africa summit scheduled to take place on November 10, whereas engagement in the Saudi summit will basically be on several areas of mutual concern, such as strengthening economic ties between the regions concerning the issues of counterterrorism, the environment, agriculture, and many other areas. To His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu uh, will be heading uh, to Riyadh in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to attend uh, two major uh, summits, uh, the first of which is the Saudi Africa Summit, uh, at which uh, several areas of mutual concern will be addressed uh, with respect to the economic ties between the regions, uh, with respect to the uh, issues of uh, counterterrorism, the environment, uh, agriculture, uh, and many other areas of mutual concern uh, where we feel uh, much more can be done in terms of uh, accelerating uh, the level of trade and investment uh, between the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia uh, and uh, the African continent. Uh, so the President is going to be very active in leading that effort from the forefront. Uh, and then, of course, that will be holding on uh, November 10th, followed by a very important summit uh, that is the Arab African Summit, holding on November 11th, uh, where uh, His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, uh, in his capacity not just as the President uh, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, but also as the Chairman of the ECOWAS Authority of Heads of Government, uh, will be uh, taking part uh, in the summit. Ingalale added that the president will be leading Africa's efforts to leverage the opportunities afforded by the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, which provides a single trade market for over 1 billion Africans. A, a deepening uh, partnership uh, of the two regions, that is the League of Arab Nations as well as the African Union, uh, with respect to how we can uh, integrate in terms of our infrastructure, uh, how we can uh, facilitate the establishment of a new high-speed uh, train network uh, that would, leak, that would uh, tie uh, uh, Arab nations uh, from the Middle East to Northern Africa uh, to the rest of the African continent. Uh, certainly, uh, His Excellency, Mr. President, is passionate about uh, any area uh, in which uh, we can really leverage on the massive population and market. Uh, that not just Africa presents, but that Nigeria itself uh, presents. Uh, we are expecting that uh, the outcomes uh, of this uh, summit uh, will lead to uh, very tangible results with respect to uh, an increase uh, in trade uh, between not just the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, but all Arab nations, uh, and especially the leading economies in Africa, of which Nigeria is now number one. Uh, so uh, we believe there's a lot uh, to uh, be gained from not just the Saudi African summit, but also uh, the Arab African summit, uh, but obviously with a particular emphasis on what the Federal uh, Republic of Nigeria stands to gain under the leadership of His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu. President Tinubu will participate in the Arab African League Summit, which will take place on November 11th. In his capacity as the ECOWAS chairman and with the authority of head of state, advocating a deepening partnership between the two regions concerning the integration of Africa and infrastructure development. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.